<laughs> All right, let's just introduce this decom. Yeah. And then we're going to bring in our uh, guest. Uh, yeah, we'll invite our guest. Uh, so, yeah, stuck in the suburbs. So, so stuck in yeah, the suburbs deep. from last week. Well, yeah, we suggested this week would be from the same year as uh, our last film, 2004. Mm-hmm. We got stuck yep. in the suburbs. A middle schooler named Brittany is bored with her quiet suburban life. She finds excitement when her phone is switched with the phone of a superstar, Jordan Cahill. Who is he played by? <laughs> Darren Callum, SNLs. <laughs> Jordan, only the top teen pop singer has come to town to make a music video. So a lot of stuff has to happen with that. That was a dude. This I is terrible um, with that intro. <laughs> oh man. No, dude, this guy, this guy, the director of this movie, I just want to say really quick because he's done a lot of shit. Please tell tell me his name though first. Uh, uh Savage Steve Holland. Savage, Savage Steve Holland. Savage Steve Holland. <laughs> just imagine naming your kids Savage. Oh man. Um so he did Better Off Dead with John Cusack. He did One Crazy Summer with John Cusack. <laughs> uh, he, then he went on to do just mainly TV. He directed episodes of Honey Shrunk the Kids, a TV show. Yeah, the t- I didn't know there was did, a TV uh, show, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, remember, I, didn't I remember that. that show. I didn't know that. Encyclopedia Brown, <laughs> uh, even Stevens, Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. He did some Zoe episodes of Phil of the Future as well. Yep. Shredder Man Rules. <laughs> Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Yeah. Love it. Unfabulous. Unfabulous, and then, yeah. And then he went Wiggly Blondes. The sequel, yeah, that, that spin-off sequel, TV sequel. Yeah. The one about and then he did a fairly movie. odd movie. He did all the fairly odd movies. The live action the ones. With, with Drake Bell. Uh, yeah. A lot of big time rush, including the big time rush movie. Um, 100 Things to Do Before High School, which is basically a spin-off of Ned's Declassified. What? And, with uh, any, do they have any of the same characters? No, no, no. It's okay. It's, it's just like the a same concept just, of high school. Yeah. Okay. And the only reason why I knew about that is because uh, I was watching this video on Ned's Declassified, mm-hmm. and uh, the person at the end of the video mentioned that show, mm-hmm. and uh, it's created by the same people and stuff. But yeah, no. So this guy has been around. This guy has been around for a long time, and <laughs> Disney Channel knocked on his door, and they were like, "Hey, you want to be stuck in the suburbs?" The writers though i like the writers too there's a there's a, the, one of the writers dan uh barrett berenson he wrote eddie's million dollar cook-off and twitches oh and twitches shit too in the hannah montana movie like he switches too yeah oh shit i like dan we like dan made a lot of our childhoods yeah, no, we should talk about uh, the, the, the cast really quick, too, because we have Danielle Panabaker, mm-hmm. who was huge in the, the <laughs> I, early 2000s. I wrote 2000s. her two credits for Sky High and Friday the 13th. Just two different yeah. actresses. <laughs> Way different movies. <laughs> and also the great and powerful Brenda Song. Yes. Who yep. we all know as London Tipton from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Yeah, I, I was um, like, but those are- she played a very similar role in this movie. Because they came out there the same year. 2004 is the same year. Yeah, Life is yeah. I yeah. think I think this one she's very subdued compared to. Well, London yeah, we'll Tipton. get into the how she her, yeah how she plays out. But when you first see her, I'm like, hey, it's London Tipton. Yeah, she is definitely dressed. She it, it looks like she just literally stumbled off the set. Of <laughs> yeah. The Zach and Cody. Yeah, they're shooting at the same time. Just That's get in here. Come on, come on. Here we go. Also, yeah, Taryn Killian plays this uh, teen bop uh, sensation. Who also has a hard gold, man. He doesn't want to do these pop songs. He doesn't anymore. want to, yeah. He doesn't want to be exploited f- and for and not used for the talent that he is. I mean, with it those wristbands, man, I agree with you. Those wristbands and those highlights in your hair. Oof. All right, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's that's like all the buildup right there. So let's uh, let's bring um uh, let's bring in our guest. Yeah, and try yes. to Big and try to talk about what it's like to be stuck. In the suburbs <laughs> okay i think she's ready i'm excited for this next guest it's i don't want to give too many spoilers but it is a returning guest hey oh i had a hair appointment and so i started driving but then you guys were like oh but now we're ready and so i'm just like pulled over um some random neighborhood like 10 minutes what? Away. you're gonna go get your hair done right now <laughs> I did okay, not realize. Trend, yeah, yes. we were running late, so we apologize to Blanca. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, welcome fine. back, Blanca. For welcome back. Revisited. Hello. Uh, you, uh, did you do your hair thing already? No, no, I have to go. Soon? 
and then but <laughs> like yeah yeah so if you but it's fine we're all good we're here okay but it if you need to go is, we're, good. we're good if you need to go it's okay we're it's making okay. it we'll work we'll just try to keep going but we introduced the movie it's very <laughs> i love the idea of having a what's it called a, a superstar like getting stuck in a small town it's not really a small town because they shot it in new orleans just I the mean, suburbs everyone everything's the same all these okay. girls they freak out over like 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 the 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 tiniest little thing like like a star getting his hair cut right uh, uh, well you know, they're like just, yeah they're, that's true fandom dude like i was thinking when, when harry styles get his hair cut people yeah right yeah. because I, <laughs> I, I mean that was a bad move on brenda songs and why did she end up wanting her to wanting him oh, to wait his haircut? <laughs> uh did you see the haircut before everyone seemed to love it did you see okay. it though? She had taste. Love what they did with every single phone call scene. And even like the assistants like getting bumped by the uh by the like the box that shows up. Yeah. And every time there's a phone and anything with the phone, like the phone calls were awesome. Like the over there were some there were some fun, fun transitions here. I love how serious Taron Killam was with his role of Jordan. Like I honestly respect his acting ability because I I <laughs> I, I, I thought it was goofy uh when he was singing and stuff, which I know Blanca mentioned uh last time she was on that they had a the singer who did um Zach Efron singing is the same singer who did Taron Killam yes. singing yes and then he was in stuck in the suburbs he was the hotel guy yeah. oh my David God. slash Kip which is really smart on whoever his reps part is because then they were like okay well you want him to sing <laughs> let me finesse yeah, get paid more an actual role because th- that's what he, that's the only thing he's credited Residuals, as baby. On, on it. He's not credited as the singing portion. That's uncredited yeah. pay. Well, it was supposed to be a big secret. The only reason that anything came to light when High School Musical happened is because they ended up sending him on the tour instead of Zach. The, I, and everyone yeah. was like, who is this man? And why does he sound exactly like Zach? I feel and like so this movie was like a loose to... Drew Seeley story because I don't understand the ending. Why did the best friend take over the mantle of singing when... Jordan is actually singing. Yeah, Jordan's actually singing in the last music video, but he has his best friend being the performer. Okay, so they actually just try to have the best friend take over as the I answered, that made no sense. I was like, was this a one-time thing? Like the music video is like <laughs> just a fake act. Like I didn't understand what the transfer of this was. Like is Jordan not gonna be famous anymore? And then is his best friend taking over as the singer? Is this well also what is this it? relationship that Jordan has with Britney? Because like there, she's oh, yeah. on like at the, the phone end, with the them. last call after they fix. Yeah, the ooh, the last Great. the last one was like at the end. Yeah, they, <laughs> that doesn't even show what Jordan's saying. It's just from Danielle Panabaker's end. She's like, hey, oh no, we can't go to New York right now. Oh yeah, no, we miss you too. Yeah, and right, no, like, <laughs> why do you want this middle schooler to go to New York because they are in middle school? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. I was like, oh my college. god, so she's school. fourteen years yeah. old and he's twenty two, something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's always fun. Did anyone, sorry, did anyone catch, like, or is it just me, like, the the vibe between yes. Britney's sister I and saw Jordan. that, too. It seemed so like they, cut, it seemed oh like they cut a scene with both of them together. And that would have made more sense yes. if she was the one that was on the phone because with Jordan being like, I can't, I can't go. To New York, yeah. Because when he's singing, he's singing and he's yeah. looking down at her and she's looking up all lovingly and like, he, he, he. I, yeah, like- yeah, no, that's, I, I definitely noticed that. And that's, that's the one thing I'll give the movie is that like, honestly, like the, the family, like the characters, the, the family are pretty, like, I, I like all their like little, 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 little storylines and their sticks. Like, like the older sisters who like can't drive, mm-hmm. but she still tries to, and she doesn't like it when people talk. Yeah. <laughs> and the, Same. the. The, the mom wants to save that that shitty house that nobody wants which we never got we never understood if if jordan singing over there actually worked or not it well, probably didn't do a time day. with the time jump it showed the house was still there so oh did it, did it still show the house it just was still yeah there. yeah and, uh, okay. and it was all okay. cleaned up yeah. and yeah restored. uh but also we got to talk about disney disney loving little creepy little creepy boys because why in the hell was her little brother Always just uh, hanging out in her fucking room. I mean, I liked the slapstick acting of that of the kid. Yeah. Dude, no, he was pretty funny. He had, yeah, he had good timing. He had like, really and good when timing. He fell down yeah. out of nowhere and all the toys just flying. Out. <laughs> Dude, so that funny. happened so many times. It like it was like, so they, slapstick they fall, for the uh, little, little kids. Yeah. When they're climbing over uh to 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 uh to go to the other backyard 
and then just mm-hmm. the leaves like they they did that shot so many so, times i like loved so it fun. yeah the bicycle <laughs> scene her dropping the ice cream the, the whole yeah the whole chase back, scene was awesome was with the so like well. slow running like the walking in fast motion they're like oh hey i'm being chased by a mob of girls and they're like oh yeah let's come with me and they just <laughs> Dude, get they literally they speed it up and then you can just see that he's just running in place no yeah they're going so slow it's just like all sped up and he's like and he's like do you think that there's a way we can get away from them and just immediate transition of just them just hiding in a tunnel yeah they just they got away and they didn't follow him in didn't follow him into the tunnel they were like okay (laughs) because you guys have it's because they have uh, a their transition skills i did write down though this is the most uh uh like this is quintessential disney channel original movie like shtick like the entire like every scene of this like every line every fiber of its being I was like, dude, this is so decom. <laughs> this is the most decom. Yeah, this might decom. have been one of my favorite ones that I watched, actually, because I was like, I do actually kind of remember this, and I like this one a lot, actually. Like, I like the scene where he gets recognized in the diner when he's looking at the his own bobblehead, and he turns around. Just like the 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 com- the comedic timing of the direction was awesome. Dude, yeah, no, the the transition, the camera work in this is <laughs> actually really fucking solid. I think that they use the the, uh, the Edgar Wright. A sweeping transition a little too much but dude my one of my favorite parts too is um they keep calling him a rock star yeah but he's not a rock star at all yeah, he's, a, he's a pop star so is he just like in prison for 10 years and he just can't do anything for 10 years and he's just gonna be like i'm just not gonna be famous anymore until my contract's over because i want to see a sequel with uh with these two guys <laughs> jordan <laughs> because, and I'm, yeah, like a get him to the Greek type well, he's style. Now old. <laughs> oh man, he's all fucked on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie oh. and Jordan are just off trying to get him to restart his career and his adventure. Let's let's let's, let's transition <laughs> from that. And let's go. Let's go with the main plot of this movie, which is that Brittany cha- switches phones with the manager, right? But these are two very different phones. Yeah. <laughs> very very different phones. Phone, honestly. I recognize his because his looks more like the Blackberry. It looks like a Blackberry. Yeah. Uh, but do no, I that's, that's when one they of the exchanged things. their messages. I was like, that's futuristic. That doesn't even exist now. But yeah, and at first I was like <laughs> airdrop. It's, oh yeah, yeah airdrop. That's basically what it was. And I remember when like what's it called? The galaxy phones would be able to charge each other on the by touching each other. I was like, that's what I was thinking. But I thought that oh, is that yeah, a thing? with the galaxies, you can charge each other's phones by putting them on top of each other. Oh, I'm behind. But I like that. Uh, at first, I thought that marketing was a very good idea of sending the song out to the phones. I thought that was a very good idea. I feel like a band should uh-huh. do that and be like, "Hey, our new single is is available if you call this number and you can play it on the on the phone." I thought that was a good idea. But then I- you two oh, kind, did that it kind of a couple years like- ago when they put everything. No, 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 not like literally like it's on the phone, but you call a number <laughs> and you uh, you call it and it plays the song. Oh, that would and be it's cute. like you listen to it. You you voluntarily call the number and it plays the song. That not like it's me, on but, your like, iTunes already, but yeah. 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 The movie uh, Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping with Andy oh, yes. Samberg. Yeah. When he oh, yeah. And they, uh, he he gets that deal with the the people when they whenever you open your fridge, you hear his new song. Everyone's oh, like, yeah, this album fucking sucks. Welcome to the future, bitches. <laughs> oh, it's song. Oh. <laughs> oh. Once they switch phones, I kept on saying to myself, why didn't they just have the same phone? Why did they like have these two completely different phones that just didn't, it didn't make sense to me why or how because they would kids, do. Kids are watching this. They had to yeah. differentiate it. I know, but <laughs> still, I got it. But you would think that when he's picking up, right, he drops, they drop their things. You don't pick up this tiny, it's like, completely different Nokia phone and go like, oh, this And is put mine. it in the yeah. pocket where the, like, yeah. the phone was before. And plus the entire thing of Jordan just being like, hey, I need you to do this on my phone because I just can't do it because I'm a pop star. But just know that my entire life is on that thing. But I don't need it's it for, like, three days. Well, then he didn't even know how to do it. So, like, your whole life is on it, right? But he's never uploaded. Yeah, it yeah. And, and the so assistant. How did your life yeah, get? And on the it? assistant is very, very didn't even stupid. Know how to find my iPhone. I yeah. like how he didn't understand that. He's like, "What? Everyone knew this, and I didn't." It's like this guy's getting fired. But nope, he gets promoted to being on a film set, which, which does he's not the make the new pop star does not make any sense. What do you guys how- think about Danielle Panabaker's uh, songwriting process? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 did you guys see the Billie Eilish documentary? No, 
No, it's, not yet. It reminded me of that because during that documentary, the family is like, Billy, are you okay? Listen to these <laughs> lyrics you're writing. Aww. And she's like, you guys understand that this is helping me. Yeah. And then that's what I kept thinking when I was watching this movie. My mom's like reading her song and I'm like, she's just like, this, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, are you okay? And <laughs> she's just like, yeah, I'm just writing music, mom. Dude, I love, I honestly really actually liked her uh her character and uh Br- brenda song's yeah. character i thought they're fr- that's a, that's the thing that drives this movie is their friendship is actually like yeah that is, that is reveal really of solid brenda song's truth of yeah. like, her lying to them Pretty yeah, solid. Think, that was like awesome even <laughs> though this movie decides to go rocky four with his montages where just like every yeah. fucking like especially like the, the third act every other emotional beat you have to go like with and these montages them, remind Dude, everyone what especially they that to. part like that yeah. part when she like goes in the house and uh, go to goes to her, uh, brenda song's house and her mom's like oh her dad's gonna be here soon and it does those weird <laughs> like, like these were black and white yeah, flash, and bla- white, flashbacks yeah. with like gunshot noises too because <laughs> it was a huge it felt like a gunshot she's like <gasps> she lied to me she's being betrayed. yeah that's why <laughs> and it's like, like the only thing that she lied about was that her dad didn't go to paris but like his, her dad still travels he just goes to buffalo and technically that is new york yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. i will say what i liked about this movie is the, you kept saying their friendship mm-hmm. and that to me felt so yeah, relatable yeah. because to me like watching that when i was younger and even watching it now i'm like oh like i get it the lying the you the know trying things, to yeah. fit in but also because the reason that Brenda Song wanted to be friends with Danielle Panabaker or whatever their characters' <laughs> names were um, was because Brenda Song, you know, wherever she was coming from, never fit mm-hmm. in there. And so she thought the only way to do that was mm-hmm. to stand out. So when she saw someone who was clearly fitting in, she was like, oh, let me become friends with her. And then Danielle Panabaker, for the opposite reason, she was like, oh, my God, she stands mm-hmm. out. Like, and I. She's a rebel. The balance of that. Yeah, well, and the balance yeah. of that is so relatable because, like, teenage girl, like, yeah. hello. Um, yeah, I, I remember dude, there was a so... time when I was in elementary school where I did, I, I, we were doing show and tell sort of thing over the summer, and I was like, I went to Hawaii, and I didn't go to Hawaii. I just lied about it because I thought people were cool, and I was, this was in second oh. grade. I remember it very clearly. I was, like, shaking them because I was lying, and I was like, <laughs> I want to sound cool, but we didn't go to Hawaii, and I, I said we did, and everyone, and I, and that's what I was thinking when I watched this movie. I think I did that same I wanted my I wanted my point. summer to sound way cool, and, and then I was like, why did I do that? And that's what this movie reminded Literally me. Literally same. Oh, about the relationship between between the two. Like, like it was the only part of the movie that, that felt real too like it felt mm-hmm. like it was the only thing that 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 really felt natural and those two had really good chemistry with each other as well which yeah. i was pretty shocked about like a bread of song has been like doing some some other things now where she's like matured as a as a mm-hmm. as an actor blanca said she's on a show called Dollface. is she good on that show it's so Dude, good she was also it's, so, it's her and it's kat dennings yeah. and it's shay mitchell and it's on shay mitchell's on it Ooh, Dude, she yeah. was also in she uh, plays, like, uh new girl Oh yeah, she was in a couple episodes of that. Yeah, she, she yeah, she, she played was, uh, right? Winston's uh no, nah, she was in like a few. She yeah. played Winston's love interest for a second, but then she ends up cheating on him. Oh, bum, bum, bum. oh yeah. Ooh. They were really yeah, I and like And so that. that's the reason why he's obsessed with cats with the, with the cat is because it was her cat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's and she's like, so can I give my cat back? And he's like, No, <laughs> you don't deserve either one of us. <gasps> I like the I like the main I like the I like the main mom. She's she She's in Psych. Have you guys seen Psych? That's a good show. Yeah, she's just so. Who is she in Psych? She's the main. She's like the the person in charge of the police station. Dude, her her line deliveries are just so wacky to backy. It, it like her the 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 mom and the dad in this they remind me so much of the mom and the dad and, and Drake and Josh. It seemed like <laughs> the they it seemed like they watched Drake and Josh and they were like, just do exactly that. Yeah, that's funny. Wait, but they kind of look like yeah, them too. Exactly. That's yeah. Funny yeah, yeah. It looks like someone watched Drake and Josh and they're like, let's just do that. Let's just yeah, the let's dad's kind of dopey, but I think a lot of that had to do with his feathery hair. He was like, he was just very, uh, I don't know. Everyone else around Daniel Panabaker <laughs> and Brenda Song were just so over the top and, and ridiculous, but it is a Disney Channel. Movie. Well, it's their world. Yeah. We're, we're just living, living in it. In That's it. I like this sure. one a lot. What would you guys rate it on your two ratings? Because I would, I, I would rate them pretty high on both, honestly, because I like this one a lot. Yeah. I would for nostalgia, I would go four out of five. And for yeah. an actual rating, I'm probably gonna go, I'm probably gonna go with two because I mean, like, I had some fun. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I know. Yeah. That's Is harsh. this how you felt with last week? Uh, when I... Yeah, right. 
I, I just I thought like overall it. it was just extremely it was just bland. Like I thought mm-hmm. it was bland. And that's the point. They're in the summer. Dude, they're trying to get out of it. No, no, the- it's 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 mostly like because I think that the story is so strong. And there's one line of dialogue. It's when uh, uh, Jordan is running away from the girls and uh, Brenda Song and Daniel right. Panabaker. They have, yeah. And and she's like, just so you know, you have this going on Tuesday. And he's like, oh, just so you know, uh, soccer practice is canceled. And it's like if, if the movie was like focusing on like these like societal norms and like how like the, these worlds are like clashing with each other, I think it would have been a lot of fun. But overall, like they were just like going with, Let's just cut his hair. For for nostalgia, I'd have to give it like a 3.8. I don't know why I put that so distinct. 3.8 with nostalgia. And for move, for the actual rating, I'd give it like a, a 3. I liked it a lot. Maybe. What is wrong with you people? That's that's good. It's out of 5. That's pretty good. <laughs> 3? No, he, no, he's, he's... no, no, no. No, no, no. no. no he 3. said 3.8 for nostalgia. 3.8 for nostalgia. Oh, oh, okay. I give it a 3 for, for, for Rio and then 3.8 for nostalgia. That's what it was. That is my official <sighs> rating. Are you, are you going to give it five and five again? I feel like I have to make up for both <laughs> of you guys giving it such a tragic. Tragic. Like, that's score. good. That mine's good. Two point five. Mine, mine mine's good. good. Mine mine, is I good. did two point five. What happened to what happened to? And I quote: "Oh, were you." You and I stuck in I the know. suburbs. Yeah, I know. Suburbs. I know. I know. It was no, no. Like, that's why. That's why nostalgia that? was high. My, my nostalgia and rating then... is, is very high because no, it, did, it is. Yeah. It's very like I remember this movie distinctly. Like like there there are so many things in this that especially when Tarn killing uh when she does cut his hair and he's like oh my god what did you do and she's like raisin yeah. so it looks away like that, that part I oh, that I remember good. that so it's just so distinctly but. Just, it just didn't age well enough for me. Like, it, it's just it's just such a, like, watching it now with, like, fresh eyes. That's how eyes, I felt last week. Yeah, watching it with fresh eyes, it's just kind of, like, it's just bland. Well, because it's not for uh, you. I know. Like, well, well, no, that's the thing. It, 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 it was, though. <laughs> like, it's not like Pixel Perfect. Pixel Perfect is, like, there's so many different elements to that movie that just work in ridiculous ways and in strange ways. As in Stuck in the Suburbs, it's just... It's just such a it's 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 like what uh it's like what Blanc, it's, really, it's like what you said for Pixel Perfect last week when you're like it's a movie that's just there. <laughs> it's just it's just you know it just, it just exists. exists. Okay, let me ask you this then. Huh. What would a five be? Oh man, it's always has to be like characters and story for me. You know, I don't honestly. think it would, I don't think it would be a decom would I don't think there's any five decom yet. No, 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 no. But I just mean in general, where is the threshold? Like Wally know. is a five for like, me. What's the yeah, yeah, so like a one would be like Norbit <laughs> and a five would be <laughs> would be oh. Wally. A four would be we're, we're talking about kids movies kind of. Because yeah. Norbit, Norbit's not. I'm a kid's just movie. talking in general. Okay. Give me like yeah. a, a, a. I want you to defend your score. I feel personally attacked <laughs> here. Well, my no, no, my, no. It's... my rating would be yeah. A Wally is a five for me, and and a one would be. I don't know what a one would be. I haven't seen a one. Thank, thankfully, I, I take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Man Eater with Sarah, Sarah Shaw. Good things. We'll send you our things. rating system tonight, Blanca. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see it because I. I have questions. Did you, did you wait? You said it was five and five for you. Well, I have to make up for you, both of your. If it, if you guys had given it given it an appropriate score, I would have said like mine's an, five for okay. nostalgia and like four for like fun, good uh-huh. movie, whatever. Out See, of five, yeah. but since you guys dragged and roasted, I, roast it. It. I, roast I, like it. I gave it more above <laughs> okay. average well kind of it's three that's like that's good that's not that's not bad if it's in the twos that's when it when we no, start that's to that's when that's when that's when that's when, I, that's when me, it's not going good three is a suggestion of a recommendation don't... anything above three is a recommendation yeah true that's cool. why i gave it a three i gave it a 2.5 i'm sticking with it i'm sticking with the 2.5 okay you're wrong, wrong. But, <laughs> i mean uh, yeah. that's awesome i'm glad it exists i am glad this movie exists i'm glad it yeah. exists. i don't know it's a it's a it's it's a it's it's a it's a it's a movie <laughs> cool yeah thank you for coming in for the decom uh, review. yeah you. yes Anytime. yeah no no these are this is this is my ha- highlight of my life during doing these decoms decom originals <laughs> i always remember the promo of taron killen turning around the seat and going ah at his hair 
Yeah. 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 Dude. It's so funny. Dude. That, that man's had such a strange career and he Love was it. so, I, yeah. I was, I was kind of, I was, I was feeling like, I was feeling like the entire movie that he didn't want to be here. <laughs> He looked, he looked uncomfortable. I don't think he, he's he, just he, starting. He's on a Disney movie. He, he's a character. He's a comedian. I, I think he enjoyed his time there. Wasn't isn't he married to another actress who's Kobe Smolders? Yes, Kobe yeah. Smolders. And How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, nice. Yeah. They're still together. Yeah, because that's a power couple. I'm not sure. I don't know about power. I think it's power. power they're hilarious. Holds. They're hilarious. Um, I'm not I guess, sure if they're yeah, still together. Power couple is not true. I guess you can say that. they're still together. I wouldn't I guess not power couple, but, but an enjoyable couple. Embarrassing story time. I'm with it. Um, when I was in high school at the height of my SNL obsession, I remember tweeting at like repeatedly <laughs> tweeting at Taryn Killam because and I was like, Hi, remember when you were in stuck in the suburbs? <laughs> because I thought like I thought he was gonna reply and be like, please take that down. Like <laughs> But I wanted to get like a reply, so I was just like, "Remember, I thought I was never like, forget where you came you. from." <laughs> yeah, I literally like something. I was like, "Never forget." I think that's like one of the tweets. And please don't go digging. All right. Well, that's yeah. coming to the end of our show. No Thanks, Blanca, there. for coming in to talk about our decom. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you. I hope you enjoy Anytime. your hair appointment. Thank you. It's just yeah, fun. yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to do so... one of those too, though. Yeah. No, I need to get it. Yeah. I'll cut your hair. Well. I'll cut. Both oh, I'll take a road trip. I'll drive across. Yeah, the drive all the way to to, to California. Do it. Yeah. Do it <laughs> for, for a haircut. haircut? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm due for a haircut. I mean, Justin's coming to town, so we'll we'll venture out for a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> for a one day haircut and drive back. A bro trip. <laughs> all right, sweet guys. Oh, yeah. We're gonna let you go, Blanca. All right. Bye. Adios. Thanks for coming. Guys, See you at the next one. Yes. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming again. That was our decom revisited. That was yes. our episode. <laughs>